Hey guys, welcome to the first request video and I'm doing this one because it's probably the most requested one right now and that is about banned Facebook accounts. So I actually pre-recorded this, we're gonna jump into the other bit. For, uh, sorry, I recorded it before, but my, uh, my recorder messed out so we'll jump into that in a second. But I just wanna kind of um, talk about how this works. So these are the admins of the um, business manager. So you pretty much need a business manager to do multiple accounts okay it's really no way around it um, and this is my private account so um, as you see here it says go to business manager or you can have your private accounts here um, so I don't remember what I said in the other video so I'm going to try and go over what I can here um, you'll see the other video in a second it just saves me recording the whole thing again because um, I'm actually um, trying to do something but what you want to do so um, all you do is you go you add accounts and stuff and we'll talk about that in a second but um and then you just add yourself as the um admin and stuff like that so basically um we'll talk about um, all the payments and stuff in a second in the next bit and um but yeah you just add accounts and all that sort of good stuff um but what i'll do is we'll jump over now to the um, actual video that i recorded and run you through the process um, so you see here how it says you have more ad accounts in your business manager Okay, so I actually have a personal account, which is this one which I use for testing for something and um, I have lots of I have two other business uh, managers set up, but this is the one with the least information in it uh, So I don't want to give away some of my stuff, but um, So this is my personal account um, that I use for testing for my thing. So if I click on my personal account and um, I go to my payment information it's actually completely separate. Um, we won't go to it, but if you go to payments, it's actually completely separate to the business manager. So the business manager or the business area, your payments are connected to every single one of your accounts in here. So however many accounts I have, it would be, um, I, I would get um, that one payment method would cover all of them. This one here though, this one payment method is for this specific account. So when you get your personal accounts banned, they ban the credit card, right? And you can't use that account anymore. But if you use the business manager, they only ban your account. They don't actually ban your credit card because it's linked to your entire business manager. Okay, and really they can't ban your credit card because then it means that it bans it for all the accounts, but they're only banning one specific account, so they can't really ban the credit card because it's linked to all of the accounts. Does that make sense? So what I do, okay, is I will create a profile just on Facebook, any type of profile, and then when you start that profile, it's gonna give you one account, okay? So one account here, Franklin Hatchet. Then what I want to do is I want to actually go to add accounts in my business manager and you see I have some pending here because I um, see this one got banned, right? Um, this one got banned and um, I can still use my Franklin Hatcher one. I can use these ones once I do pending request. So what you want to do is go add accounts and add new account and um, you just want to go request access to an ad account and then what you'll do is you'll choose a page, go next, and you'll put in um, the ad account ID. So for instance, it would be this one, okay? And then what it's gonna do is it's actually going to um, bring this ad account into the business manager for me. Now, I don't wanna do that, but that's one way you can do it, all right? And then it will take your personal account and bring it into the business manager. So then what you could do is you could start three or four Facebook accounts and you could bring in three or four accounts. Or you can actually do claim an ad account as well and you would claim one, all right? And then you would paste it in here. All right, guys, I just paused it there because I wanted to show you something because um, I knew this would come up. To avoid fraud, you, you're only allowed to claim one ad account per personal account. So what that means is if you want to have multiple accounts inside your, um, inside your um, business account, then your best bet is to uh, do multiple personal accounts, four or five, and then transfer those accounts over, all right? Um, that's gonna be plenty because you can run multiple accounts then, and if one gets banned, you can just move on to the next one. Now, you can actually go create a new ad account, but sometimes um, my my um, business account's in review right now because I'm actually fighting against my um, my ban, so I can't actually add any accounts at the moment. But when, I'm in re when you're in review, you can't um, do that. But 
what I would suggest you do, right, if you want to run multiple multiple accounts, this is what I suggest you do. You start a business manager, all right? Then you go into here and you go add, create ad accounts and you try to create as many as you can, okay? Try and add as many as you possibly can. Then when one gets banned, you just move on to the next one because this isn't a flawless loophole. Like sometimes when they ban you, they will lock your business manager account. Sometimes, usually they don't, but you just have to go and fight it and then you'll get it back. But with me, I've never had any problems like that. Um, but if, but what I would suggest you do, all right, if you want to run multiple accounts and you don't want to worry about getting banned um, and stuff like that, just start a business manager and start multiple accounts, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can do that without um, profiles. You just go to create a new ad account. But like I said, I can't right now because I'm in review, all right? But you can just start multiple accounts and then they'll ban one and then you just move on to the next one because they won't lock your payment because it's linked to other accounts. They can only lock payments for the account that is causing the problem. So that's why when you have personal accounts, what happens is Facebook will always lock the credit card and they will ban your credit card or your PayPal because it's locked to that specific account. But like I said, inside the business manager, the payment is not locked to a specific account. Well, it can be like if you have one account and you've set and you set that one account up to that specific payment and you haven't set up the rest, it's locked to that payment and they might ban you. But if you just do three, four, five, six, seven, ten accounts and you lock them all to that one payment method, whether it be your credit card or your PayPal, Facebook can't. I mean, technically they legally they can't just ban. I mean, they can do whatever they want. It's their platform. But legally, they can't really just go and block all of your accounts. Uh, sorry, block one of your accounts and block the credit card payments inside this business manager. Because if you're a big company and you're using the business manager and sharing it for other people and they just went and took away the payment method because of one account, they will be in a lot of trouble. Um, lawyers will be on to them because they would be putting a lot of people's money in jeopardy. So that's why they don't ban payment methods on business managers. So just go in there, set up some accounts and you'll be good to go. And that's really it, guys. There's no way around it with personal accounts. If you get banned with your personal account, 99.9% .9 of the time, they are going to ban your credit card and you're stuck at square one. You're stuck. But the business manager is a bit of a loophole and it will help you basically just keep going, keep going. Um, and you know, you're not really gonna have any problems, especially if you start multiple accounts at the start. So when one gets banned, you just move on, all right? So I hope that helped you out. Any more questions, let me know. But that's really all there is to it. It's very, very simple. Basically, at the end of the day, start a business manager, get multiple accounts in there straight away. Then if one gets banned, you can simply move on to the next one, all right? And they are gonna say they usually won't ban the payment, okay? So I'm not gonna say that they never do because they might do. I'm just going to go back there because I don't want you to see my payments. Um, blur that. Uh, you probably can't see that anyway. That's all right. Um, but yeah, usually they won't. But just in case they do, I don't want to come back to me going, Franklin, you said it won't get banned. All right, because I don't know what you're doing on your guys' accounts. All right. But that's it, okay? Business manager. That's how I manage my banned accounts uh, and all that sort of good stuff, right? Very, very easy. Very easy to set up. No drama at all. And I'll see you guys in the next request video.